What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to all the noobs out there who are just getting into streaming. A lot of times when someone is just starting out, their biggest struggle is seeing their own numbers and comparing themselves to other people. So today I'm gonna give you guys three things that will improve your experience streaming to zero viewers. Before we get into it though, I just wanna remind you guys that if you aren't subbed to the channel already, smash that sub button. I've got a lot of good content lined up for the future and trust me when I say that you don't want to miss it. Also, if you ever want to chat with me in real time or ask me any questions, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday on Twitch at 6 p.m. MST. You can always pop into my chat and ask me anything that you want to know. The FPS scene is where I thrive and the vibes are always high. Okay, so the number one thing you're going to want to do is turn off viewer count. If you're someone who gets discouraged easily, turn it off, man. You might come across someone who's averaging 15 to 20 viewers, but what you're seeing is that specific moment what you missed what you haven't witnessed is the two years that it took them to get to that point point. and if that's something that affects your mentality and deteriorates your motivation then there's no need to even worry about it to turn off viewer count go either to the twitch desktop app or go to the website once you're logged in you're going to want to go to creator dashboard and then go to stream manager you'll notice at the top that it'll show the viewers tab you're gonna go up to that tab and you're just gonna click on it. This will hide your viewer count from you on Twitch when you are live. Another way to hide viewer count is in OBS. There's a Twitch stats doc that will show you how many viewers you have, how long you've been live, how many clips have been made, total views, followers, and subscribers. To open this tab, all you wanna do is go up to view, go to docs, and then go to Twitch stats. Once you have this tab docked, all you need to do is go down over to where your viewers are and then just click on it to hide it. Moving on to number two on the list, practice talking to chat, not just on stream, but off stream too. I say chat in quotations because I mean, you don't have a chat, dude. You're streaming to zero viewers. It's not really any different than when you're playing games off stream with the homies. The only real difference is there is potential for people to come in and watch and see what you're all about. So when you are streaming, talk about the game, talk about your thought processes behind your moves, behind your rotations especially when you're playing FPS games, but it is a little easier playing FPS games because you're usually playing with friends. And when you're playing with friends, especially in shooters, you have to communicate. At least there's some communication there that adds some value to the content of the stream. Okay, so this third and last thing on the list is not only going to help you be entertaining, but it's also gonna help you retain some of the viewers that do make their way into your stream. What you're gonna wanna do is research. I know, gross, right? But at least you're not looking up some pointless shit on how cheese was made for your fifth grade research paper. No, you're gonna be looking up content all over the internet and YouTube for topic points that interest you. If you're engaged and feeling the conversation, your audience will feel the same. Try to stay away from topics like politics unless that's something that you want to build your channel around and engage in with your audience but at least try to stay up to date with the current news on the games that you play, your thoughts on some of the updates, maybe even some of the stuff that happens on your day-to-day -day life that you wanna to talk to people about, or even just some current world events. Streaming isn't easy, you guys. We always see people like Ninja, him the tat man and just how successful all these other creators are becoming but everyone always forgets how long it actually took them to become as big as they are every once in a blue moon there's just this absolute gaming prodigy that comes around and can aim like no other hitting insane shots or someone who is just an editing genius like jordy 2d on tiktok he's been at this for not even like five months he blew up in just a couple months on TikTok and now his stream, he can stream full time on Twitch. But the reality is that's not common for a lot of people. You're probably gonna be stuck at zero to five viewers for a long time. But if you're willing to be patient, if you're willing to put in the hard work in your content creating skills and just put yourself out there and stick with it, your chances of making it in this industry are slowly going to rise. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this helped out anyone that it found. I know that when you're first starting out, it can be really, really difficult, but I promise if it's something that you really enjoy, if it's something that you really wanna do for the rest of your life, it's worth it. Don't get discouraged by the numbers and just do what you can to improve your content and to improve yourself. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.